All right, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanted to show you guys that are brand new to trading on Top Step with Tradeovate, how to do it. Maybe some of you guys are trading mostly Forex and you guys are trying to get funded with Top Step and you're struggling kind of making the transition over from trading Forex on like MetaTrader over to actually trading um, futures here right on TradingView. So I wanted to make this quick little tutorial. It's gonna be a very quick video and I'm just going to go over how to one put a trade on but then also you know how to modify trades because it is a little bit different and you know you have to uh, maybe make sure you got a couple things in order before actually putting a trade on and then if you do market execute a trade it's important to know how to actually you know manage that position so for this video i went ahead and logged into a practice account just so i'm not taking any trades on an actual live account but um, we are looking at the market currently. It's during Asia session right now, looking at E-mini NASDAQ. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is, first of all, how I like to set up trades. So what I like to do, a lot of you guys are familiar with the long and short position tool on TradingView. So if you guys aren't, if you come over here to the projection tools, click on either long position or short position. I have it favorited. And it's right inside of my favorite toolbar here. So if I was to, you know, pretend that I was going to look for a long position or look for a buy opportunity, let's say that I wanted to actually get long inside of this fair value gap for an example, right? So if I wanted to get long inside that fair value gap, what I like to do to put a trade on is I will actually click, I'll drop the long tool or a short tool if I'm getting short, right where I'm looking to take the trade. I'll adjust where I want my stop loss to go and I'll adjust where I want my take profits to go. Maybe I'm looking to target the recent high, right? Something like that. <clears throat> and then what I'll do is I'll right click this and I'll hit create limit order. This is not the only way to put a trade on, right? There's more than one way to do this. This is just one way. This is the simplest way that I like to do it. And what you really want to make sure that you do, guys, is you want to make sure that you have stop loss and take profit actually toggled on. If you do not have these toggled on, then what's going to happen is when you put your trade on, you're not going to have a, a take profit or a stop loss anywhere on your screen, anywhere on your chart. I'll show you guys how to add that later on so it's not the end of the world. But there was a couple people that have asked me recently when they were in a trade, they're like, why can't I modify anything? Why can't I put my my stop loss, uh, you know, drag my stop loss and set it somewhere. Why can I put my take profit somewhere? And it was because they didn't have these things toggled on when they created the order. So you have to add those in manually after the fact. So the easiest way that I've seen guys is when you just do it this way and let's say buy limit right here, right? Two contracts for an example, I click this boom and everything goes into the trade. Everything is set up perfectly fine and we are good to go. I got my buy limit, I got my take profit. Once you have it on the screen, you can drag it, drop it, wherever the heck you wanna put it, um, and you are completely good to go. Now, um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna delete this for now, and I'm gonna show you guys a couple other examples here really quickly. So I'll delete this trade opportunity, um, that buy limit that we have set there <clears throat> for an example. And the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was how you can, um, two different things. So I'm gonna show you guys First off, how to take a partial trade, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to actually add the stop loss and take profit manually. If you, you know, for whatever reason, don't toggle your stop loss and take profit on, or you happen to just market execute a trade, then you are going to be able to just add those in manually, but it's a little bit different. It's not just a stop loss or a take profit. Um, you have to put in an opposite order at where those levels would be. And I'll show you guys how to do that here. So uh, first and foremost, let's pretend that you guys were going to you know, take a short position. So again, I'm on my practice account, just making sure I'm double checking here. And let's just say you were gonna take a short for two contracts here on NQ, right? So if I was gonna take a short here on NQ with two contracts, right? Uh, two things I'm gonna show you guys. First off, I'm gonna show you guys where you would put or how you would put in your take profit. So I'm gonna sell for two contracts right as we speak, right? So if I wanted to set a take profit for both of those contracts, wherever my take profit is, let's just say it's gonna be this low, I would come right here and what I like to do is I like to just double click, come right here to trade and then I will make sure I have two contracts here and I'll just make a buy limit. So a buy limit, if I get in a buy right here, that is the opposite of the trade that I currently have set up right here, right? So and if the same thing if I wanna put a stop loss, 
um, I would put a stop order. So if I want my stop loss to be right here, let's just say trade stop order. I'm gonna have to drag it up because I'm clearly about to get stopped out. <clears throat> but before I do that, uh, while we're in this practice dump, uh, dummy trade, let me just show you guys how to close a partial profit. So if I was in profit or even in drawdown, if I wanted to just close a part of my position, here's how I would do it. Now, if you're only on one contract, you're not gonna be able to do this. However, if you are on more than one contract, you can partial. So since I'm in two contracts, I can buy back one of the contracts that I'm selling if I want to, uh, or vice versa if you're trading in the other direction, right? So if I wanted to close one of these, simple, all I would do is I would just come over here to one-click trading, drop it down to one contract instead of two, and then I would just go ahead and buy one back. So I'll buy one back, boom, takes me out of one of those contracts. Same would be said if you were in, in uh, profit too, guys. If this was selling off and <clears throat> we were in profit and I wanted to close a half or I wanted to close part of my position, you can buy back or sell back any of the opposing uh, contracts that you are already in a position for. And then obviously, guys, since we're using this as an example, um, I only have one more contract on the trade. So what I would do, if wherever I want to put my stop loss, right click the chart, come over here to trade, and I would set a stop order. So a buy stop would be my version of a stop loss. And if that got hit, it would take me out of that trade, that'd be my stop loss getting hit. This is how you can add them in manually after the fact. One thing that you'll wanna keep in mind and keep, um, uh, pay attention to is basically if you do do this like this or you close a trade, you take a partial, you just always wanna make sure your ultimate take profit and or your stop loss does get modified along with however many contracts you're looking to execute for that, for that target price. So like right here, I don't wanna buy limit to come down now and trigger in two contracts because I'm only in one. So if that happened, I would actually then be put in a buy limit for one more contract going back the other direction. So I would just wanna make sure that this is all um, lining up with each other. So I would change this to one contract, boom, you know, you're good to go and then you got a position all uh, ready to rock and roll there. So that is how you guys do that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. It's very self-explanatory. Um, if you wanna just obviously close the trade, boom, close it and it takes you out of everything. So then you're good to go that way. But um, the other way that you guys can put trades on, there's a little trade button right next to where it says trade of eight down here in the bottom left. You click that, it opens up this panel over here. You can undock it. And then that will just kind of put it floating right in the middle of your screen. You can enter trades this way. Everything still applies that I already went over, toggling on the take profit and the stop loss and everything as far as all that goes is all the exact same. But hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you know anybody that's struggling or confused or just getting started trading futures with Top Step, um, feel free to send this to them. It'll probably be helpful. I know it was um, kind of confusing for me at first as well. But with that being said, hope you guys do well with your trading. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And also, before I let you guys go, if you haven't gotten a combine yet and you want to get your first one, 20% off in the description and pin in the comments of this video and I wish you guys nothing but the best and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.